What is the maximum speed of a train with a trapezoidal speed slash time curve, given its average speed, acceleration and deceleration, and how far does it travel before the brakes are applied? Step 1. Understand the problem. We need to find the maximum speed of the train and the distance it travels before the brakes are applied, given that the train accelerates and decelerates at different rates and the stations are 2.5 km apart. Step 2. Determine the time to reach maximum speed since the train accelerates at 2 km slash h slash s. We can use the formula for acceleration to find the time t it takes to reach its maximum speed v max from res. Equal to delta v divided by delta t. t equal to v max divided by a. Step 3. Calculate the distance covered during acceleration. The distance done covered while the train is accelerating can be found using the formula for uniformly accelerated motion. t equal to 1 divided by 2 or t2. Substituting the time from step 2 we get done equal to 1 divided by 2 of v max divided by 2 done equal to 1 divided by 2 of max 2 divided by a Step 4. Calculate the distance covered during deceleration similarly. The distance d2 covered while the train is decelerating can be found using the deceleration rate b equal to 3k and slash h slash s and the maximum speed g2 equal to 1 divided by 2 b v max divided by b2 d2 equal to 1 divided by 2 max 2 divided by b. Step 5. Determine the distance covered at maximum speed. The total distance between the stations is 2.5 km. The distance covered at maximum speed d3 is the total distance minus the distances covered during acceleration and deceleration. d3 equal to 2.5 minus done plus d2. Step 6. Use the average speed to find the time taken for the entire journey. The average speed of the train is 45 km slash h, and the total distance is 2.5 km. The time t taken for the entire journey can be calculated using the formula. t equal to total distance divided by average speed. t equal to 2.5 divided by 45. Step 7. Relate the time taken to the distances covered. The total time taken for the journey is the sum of the times taken to accelerate to maximum speed, travel at maximum speed, and decelerate to a stop. t equal to t acceleration plus t max speed plus t deceleration. t equal to v max divided by a plus d3 divided by v max plus v max divided by b. Step 8. Solve the equations to find the maximum speed. We now have a system of equations involving then d2, d3, and v max. We can solve these equations to find the value of Vmax that satisfies the conditions of the problem. Step 9. Calculate the distance travelled before the brakes are applied once we have Vmax. We can calculate the distance travelled before the brakes are applied by adding the distance covered during acceleration to the distance covered at maximum speed. Distance before brakes equal to done plus d3. Step 10. Final calculations using the equations and steps above, we can now plug in the values for acceleration 2k and slash h slash s, deceleration 3k and slash h slash s, and the average speed 45k and slash h solve for v max and the distance travelled before the brakes are applied.